it's just rot. Or is it jetsome? In either case, my mistake. Odd. I'd swear I've combed this area. No! We must find them! Sure, sure. Why? I, I don't know. Old man! I've got one! Didn't you? That man. It was me long ago. Of the other voice, I cannot say. No. It was me, Fred. I recognized this path as though I traveled it not long ago. Come, let us see where it is. This way! Give me that wooden leg, and we'll be on our way without trouble. You again? Again? Yeah! How many times must I run you through, you cursed bag of bones? Bag of bones? I'll have you know I was a fighter in my day, you dishonorable sea dog. Have at you! skin wasn't loose as a windless sail. They seem to know me, but how? Uh, no matter. The leg, if you would. Very well, blacksmith. You may go, but the boy stays. That was never part of the deal. <laughs> go on, then. Try to stop me. the leg. No curse could make me forget that voice. This is no puppet. This is my son, my Nico. Don't you see? Something terrible has happened to him. This way. Yes, I remember it now, as though it were yesterday. We're getting close. <laughs> you amuse me, blacksmith. Damn you, Vesetta! We are not your playthings! But I fear that's precisely what we became. <laughs> now, the leg traveler. Give it here, if you would. I... was a blacksmith for Coiled Queen Vesetta. How I entered into service for such a vile creature, I cannot say. But she used my weapons to commit great evils. Until one day, I could take it no longer. Let's keep moving. I tried to escape with my son. She caught us. She cursed my boy and imprisoned his heart in wood, turning him into a puppet so that he could never escape. Of my own punishment, I know not. But perhaps Nico's fate was the price we both paid. This is familiar somehow. You 
have memories of this. I'm sorry to say that I do. That is where Coiled Queen Mesetta has made her lair. I feel as though I've stood in this very spot many times. Wait, this doesn't add up. You've been here before, so why is your son still trapped? That, I don't know. But perhaps with your help, we will succeed where I have failed. Long was this great beast enslaved to Vesetta, though it yet lived. Now it rots. Gods, the stench. What has happened here? The ocean may have come down with a small case of exploding. I'm just, I'm throwing out guesses. Truly? Can't you see what this means? The queen will be weakened. Perhaps we have some chance of defeating her after all. We must keep going. Whatever sorcery this may be, I will never stop trying to rescue my Nico. I'm coming, son! Hold on! Set us traps, I think. I'll grab the head, old man. Bless you. You're not that tired old fool of a blacksmith. <clears throat> Who are you to trespass in my domain? <clears throat> Besetta! This ends now! Give me the boy and we'll go! Ha <laughs> you <clears throat> fool! Forty years we played this game. I thought with time you'd forget him, as you've forgotten all the others. I will never forget him. Every time you come, you fail. And I return you to the beach, broken and another year notched. Will you waste the rest of your life in this vain pursuit, Blacksmith? It's different this time. I am no longer alone. No! 
Stand up. I cannot. But Vesetta is dead. That's what matters. Now, the boy, restore him, please. friend of your pops. Then you are mine as well, for I have no one left now that he's gone. He spent his life trying to save yours, so make it count, all right? Now, we'd better find a way out of here. You can leave this place through there. Yeah. Thank you for all you've done. You aren't coming? I'll stay a moment longer, if that's all right. Other than my dreams, I haven't seen his face in so many years. I have spent my entire life a prisoner, but thanks to you, I'm free. There are others like myself, prisoners of tyrants like Queen Vesetta. I will light my own forge and make weapons like my father before me, and I will dedicate my life to freeing them. Now please, I need to be alone. 